Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're playing Tristan Cole's Pro Driver. I'm interested and very excited for this actually because it appears to kind of be like a Tony Hawk Pro Skater game but in a car. I'm excited about that. That's, that seems cool. Unfortunately, uh, I had to turn the game's music off but you can better be you best believe for yourself that it is absolutely uh, skater punk type stuff and definitely copyright strike type stuff <laughs> so anyway uh let's get my mouse off of the screen here and i'm gonna be using the controller for this and figuring it out as we go i just gotta play some free roam uh we're just gonna jump right into the latc preview so the game is in an early alpha oh hell yeah Oh, dude, this is sick. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. This is absolutely not how cars work in real life. But. Oh, the sound effects. They're, they're kind of satisfying, actually. I gotta grind this rail, bro. I gotta grind this rail, bro. Oh, dude, that big ass ramp. Oh my god, it's like a city turned into a skate park. I fucked that all up. Oh, dude, sweet 50 50 car, 50 50 car, sli car slide, bro. 50 50 50 car slide, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, man. Oh, dude, this is fucking lit. I love this. I love this. I feel, I, and like, I, so in my head, I hear skater punk playing. And, like, it fits so beautifully. So beautifully. Oh, you could open doors. Oh, dude, hell yeah, I did an oil check. <laughs> oh, man. And the graphics. Can we, like, take a second to appreciate these graphics? What's over here? Can we, like, take a second to appreciate these graphics? Like, this is great. What do we got going on over here? Is this, like, a, a, a drag race getting set up? Oh, dude. This is this is genuinely a great time. Oh, that car actually moves. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're 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 out here getting that drift. Okay, now we got that donut action. Double donuts. Twin donuts. Triple donuts. Oh, dude, this is lit, bro.
That's a ton of points. That's a ton of points. So, like, this is a very, very fun experience. I love the philo I just love the philosophy behind this. The philosophy of, of, hey, I was a kid in the, in like the, the nineties or whatever. And I played a lot of Tony Hawk's pro skater. So I'd love to experience that again. But like, now that I'm older, I like motorsports, you know, I like, you know, formula drift or whatever. Like there's a, ver a wide variety of motorsports that the creator could be into. And like they take that love for motorsports and that love for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and they've decided to take that and learn how to program a game they go into the nuance of making a granted pre-alpha really fairly well polished experience if I'm being honest this is surprisingly well polished a lot more well polished than I would expect out of reading the term pre-alpha. I did not know what to expect coming into this. You know, like I have, I expected that the game looked like fun, and that the game looked like it was a good time and a good idea. But being in pre-alpha, I wasn't sure that uh, I wasn't completely sure that uh, it was going to be you know in a really particularly playable state. A state that w would be a lot of fun anyway. But with this, like, there's nothing going on, but it's fun. And I feel like this doubles down pretty heavily on that philosophy of video games should be fun. I don't feel like the story mode is going to tell some kind of extremely gripping story or anything. I feel like the story mode is more or less going to, you know, just be really an excuse to show off the mechanics of the game once it's finished and uh, kind of, uh, oh, I can't go around that building, but kind of show off the mechanics once the game's done, you know, and, and just kind of as an excuse to put more time into the game. But as we know, all the Tony Hawk games had a story mode too, and really the place to be was the free roam. The story mode, you play a couple missions here and there uh, to unlock stuff, and maybe that will be the same purpose here. Uh, maybe you'll be able to unlock some, some more cars, or maybe new drivers, or whatever have you. But the, uh, the main meat and potatoes of the game, I feel like, is really going to come down to the free roam and like like take the take take this drifting that i'm doing for example right i'm just kind of drifting around on the road the drifting mechanics are not realistic i i'll say that outright but i i don't think that if you expect them to be realistic i don't think that you're playing the right game personally i think this is very much uh not meant to be uh, that serious to, as to have realistic drifting mechanics. But with that said, uh, the way that uh, the car handles, there's something going on over here. But uh, like, but with all that said, the way that the car handles is, uh, it, it's very arcadey but it, it feels good. There's something going on in here. There's something going on in here. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. We found a fucking baseball field. A very er, a very pre-beta baseball field, but 
Also, can I say that games like this, it's really ballsy to actually put a driver in the car. Got a, I got that sweet, sweet axle grind action. How did I do that wheelie? Alright, anyway though. Uh, the experience of this game, I like I was saying, I do think that the meat, meat and potatoes of this is going to be enjoying the free roam on the various maps that become available on the game's release. The drifting and everything feels good, it feels fun. It doesn't feel real, and it's not hard. You hold a button, and you just try and control the car. And there's little to no repercussions in the event that you lose control, which is, in my opinion, a good way to handle this kind of game. Losing control and screwing up and fucking up on tricks, landing upside down and stuff, does not have repercussions. Not anything serious, anyway. You just lose your points that you were getting from that chain of tricks. I also feel like this game would be the perfect kind of game for a variety of Easter eggs and stuff. Like, just a bunch of Easter eggs could be placed in this game, and I think that that would make for a very fun, like, exploration cycle. And, like, the grinding here. You know, you using the stick to control the car while you grind is... It's very reminiscent of the old Tony Hawk games. Like, everything about this game is reminiscent of old Tony Hawk games, and I love it. The only thing that's different, that I will get, take points away for, is... That jumping, in and of itself, is not technically a trick. But the car, it looks like it's based off, kind of off of like a combination of like an old Nissan from the 90s or early 2000s and like a, like a BMW. I will say there's obvious issues like uh, this sidewalk that cuts this road off and this grass that just kind of like spilled off onto the street over here, you know? So there's, there's imperfections to be found for sure. And that's kind of expected if I'm being honest for a, a pre-beta, a pre-alpha. But this is fun. This is a very fun game. Just even even as bare bones as this is, I feel like there's uh, enough challenge here. Well, that's a that's a bit of a flaw. You should so that 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 should probably be smoothed out into an actual drivable ramp of sorts. But I feel like there's enough enough tricks and, and things to explore here that. Uh, this could keep me entertained. That, and if I'm just in the mood for a Tony Hawk style game, I now have that at my disposal right here. And in such a way, oh dude, you could just, fuck, oh yeah, they don't have wheels. Yeah, bump off cars, get out of my way. I'm obviously the superior car. Why do they not have wheels? Why they all look like Honda Civics? Oh yeah, that's that's a 90s. You're driving a 90s car for sure. Look at that interior. Look at that interior. Look at those seats. Those are 100% 90s seats. Also, it looks like you've got three amps just chilling in the back there. Oh, dude. Destructible environments like this? Oh, man. So, 
like what I so as I'm exploring that like right there, that kind of harkens back to the, like the uh, the mischief that you could get into in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games. If I was more skilled, I would just drift all the way up here, and I know that that's what this is for is for like a sick spiral drift. But uh, I'm just exploring at the moment. I've, I've got a good amount of points on me, so, you know, let's get up here and see what we got. So the water, you just kind of drive on top of it, sort of, for sections of it. So that's a little weird, I'll be honest, a little weird. But again, it's just another imperfection of the game being in pre-alpha still. So yeah, overall though, this is an incredible experience. But this is fun. Like, I, I think that's the thing I, I'm enjoying the most about this, is that it's just fun. Oh dude. Oh dude. We found it. So this is it. this is it. This is this right here. This is how you get the high score, guys. We found the way to get the high scores. Oh man, this could be so many fucking points. Oh dude. Oh dude. So maybe this is something that should be like worked out and uh, not doable quite like this. Because, uh, yeah. You can just spam right doors open, left doors open, pop the trunks, oil changes. Yeah. Okay, so I may, I, I may have found like a small, uh, a small issue here. I don't know how to actually cash in the points from here, guys. Um, Imagine you see a dude make a giant jump in a car and just get out and hang out like that. Just pop back in. And he gets out and does that. And then 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 just fucking all kinds of shit. Just like... Getting there. I want to cash in these points.
gotta rock the boat, rock the boat, rock the boat. Gotta rock the boat. Just gotta rock the boat. Just gotta rock the boat. I lost it. I lost it. No. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that that sucks. You hate to see it. That was gonna be so many points. That was gonna be so many points. So many points! Oh no, man. Listen, guys. I'm gonna put the get link to this game on itch.io in the describe in the subscription. And I challenge every single person who who watches this video to play this game and post in the comments your best score. Post your overall best score from just the free roam and post your best score from one single combo that you actually actually cash in on. You can, don't don't do don't be like jumping on top of that car and then, you know, you you lose the whole bank right there at the last fucking second like I did. And then just be like, oh, there it is. That's my best score. That no, that, 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 that I'm not gonna entertain that. That doesn't count. I'm not gonna entertain that. You know. So we'll uh, fuel doors on that side. Okay. Alright, so we'll call it an episode here. We're, uh, we're at the auto shop. Parked outside of the fuel pump. Contr camera controls with the left stick, or right stick, a little weird. But, overall, this is incredible. Ah, this is a very, very incredible experience, I have to be honest. <clears throat> Even just for a pre-alpha. I am going to continue following the development of this game and uh, yeah I am very interested in seeing where it goes so thank you all for sticking around feel free to like comment and subscribe like I said videos gonna or link to the game on itch.io will be in the description Comment your best score. I want to see how good you guys can do with this. Uh, as you can see, my best score is... Oh, you might not be able to see. My face might be in the way. But my best score is 53,407 so far. So. But yeah. That was fun. And I'll see you all in the next game. Farewell.